the title of this poem is called Product of His Environment. James is in the eighth grade, doesn't have enough money to support his own diet, not a vegetarian out of fear of starving in his own home. Doesn't know what it's like to work in a factory, but he pictures something similar to his current public school with all the bells ringing in his ears, telling him what to do and when to do it. Now, when he first imagined farming, he saw straw hats, cows, pitchforks, and barns. It was like a fairy tale. He didn't know about the mounds of metal and synthetic material used to create what he eats. Because of this twisted food system he's subdued to, his body is systematically inclined to break down, like the buildings that were broke down for new shopping centers forcing his neighbors into homelessness. At this rate, he won't be able to differentiate corporate farmers from drug dealers. Similarities are too strong. Selling harmful products to innocent people for extensive profits, but like crack, the dollar menu is cheap. The ingredients are addicting. He keeps buying from them when James wakes up in the morning. The most difficult question he has regarding food is, how much is there in the fridge? Three boxes of generic pasta in the freezer. One box of Captain Crunch he might have if there's any milk left. He'd build walls out of sugar. Easy to hide behind the focus, easy to hide behind the focus of issues, but barting, um, told you I was nervous. <laughs> easy to hide behind Taste buds bombarding the focus of issues in his life. It's like being high for at least 10 minutes whenever he's able to find room to consume. He's not eating for the economy or for the geological state of the planet. He's eating for personal survival. Not realizing he's hurting himself in the process, James has never experienced the taste of fruits that haven't been attacked by pesticides, just like he's never experienced a neighborhood that hasn't been attacked by bullets. Some things just go hand in hand in his life. Corruption and lack of money, money and lack of opportunity, opportunity and non-organic meals. He can't hear the cries of exploited farmers when he bites into Big Macs because, of, because the cries of mothers with shattered backs from their seeds slipping into cracks with no sunlight or a little bit louder and too close to home. The blood permanently marked on his flesh from a friend dying in his arms is a little bit brighter to see than the tears of slaughtered animals. He was raised to treat spilled milk the same way he treats spilled blood. Gotta suck it up. Doesn't matter if it's full of pus lying across the floor. His mother paid too much for it. Suck it up. Doesn't matter if wounds are fresh with gunpowder. Tears won't fill bellies or heal scars. He's not worrying about eating responsibly. His responsibility is to shut down the sound of his stomach growling. He hates that noise. It's a constant reminder that he is a product of his environment, genetically modified to fill bloodlines to the stories of ancestors harvested from their natural habitat, shipped across the ocean in tight packaging in order to be processed in the free laborers. He can steal for the whips of approval on his back. James can't take being a part of two uncontrollable, destructive systems at the same time. He wants to forget it all. As his body is getting weaker, his heart, the bridge between his mind and body, is leading the way to his unhealthy soul. Thank you.